Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So about two months ago, Google Bard, which is Google's chatbot equivalent to Microsoft's Bing Chat, about two months ago, Google Bard received its last significant update. And around about that time, I also let you know that Google may be bringing extensions to Bard. Now, two months later, just to let you know that Earlier today, um, on the 19th of September, Google has started rolling out a major update uh, for Google Bard, which now finally includes the extension support for the different Google apps like Gmail, Docs, Drive, Maps, and so on. So extension support has finally made its way now into the chatbot, which I think has been a long time coming. Now, according to the release notes for this update, um, Google say they are now introducing Bard's most capable model yet which now um, means that you can use BARD in 40 plus um, languages. And the big one here is that the extension support, which can be found by heading to the top right, and there we can see the extensions button. Uh, the extension support now means that BARD can now access helpful information um, from your different Google apps. So um, the, the current default extensions that have been made available, as we can see at this stage, are Google Flights, Hotels, Google Maps, Workspace, and YouTube, which means now that the chatbot can now retrieve and help you work with real-time info um, using these different um, uh, extensions with the different Google services. And just to demonstrate using the Google Maps extension, I'm just going to click on Tourist Track just to demonstrate for the purpose of today's video. And it says, how long does it take to walk from Buckingham Palace uh, to Big Ben in London? And while we wait for that to respond, um, these extensions are enabled by default, but can be disabled at any time according to your personal choice and preference by just uh, turning on those toggles, as you saw, that are available with the extensions. And yeah, you can see over and above uh, giving you uh, that answer, the time taken to walk from uh, Buckingham Palace to Big Ben. It gives you a handy little map using that Maps extension, which I think is a nice move if you are using Google Bard and obviously are wanting to find different uh, locations and so on. Now, that's the extension support when it comes to using a Google Maps. And for the next demonstration, um, you can also collaborate with Bard on your content in Gmail, Docs, and Drive. So heading back to those extensions, this time, you can enable BARD to interact with information from your Gmail Docs drive so you can find, summarize, and answer questions across your personal content. So I'm going to sum up a doc, and what this is going to do, um, it's going to retrieve that uh, info from my actual docs um, from my Google drive. And while that's responding, uh, Google does say, though, that Google Workspace data won't be used to train BARD's public model, and you can disable access to it at any time. That's according to Google. And yeah, we can see... Um, although we can't find a resume titled June 2023 from my Google Drive and my Google Docs, that just gives you a example of how you can col collaborate with Bard on your content in uh, the different services like Gmail, Docs, and Drive. Now, um, something else to take note of is that you can also double-check Bard's responses with uh, uh, Google It version 2. So just to demonstrate for this, I'm going to just type in wiki as an example. And while we wait for that to respond, um, this means that you can actually go um, using the G button. Um, you'll see this G button here at the bottom of the response. So if you click on that, it'll double check your response, which means um, starting with English, when a statement can be evaluated, you'll see it highlighted in Bard's responses and you can click to learn more using that G button. So there we go. And then you can click on understand the results. So you can double check Bard's responses with Google it version two. And um, something else to take note of uh, is that um, Google has also introduced a public link sharing feature. Now um, I'm just going to create a new chat for this and I'm just going to use the exact same wiki. Just a simple um, demonstration for the purpose of today's video. So Google has also introduced a public link sharing feature um, that allows you to share your BARD conversations with anyone who then can continue the conversation on their own, basically uh, where you left off. So uh, if we scroll down once again and we click on this, you'll see share. And there we go, create public link. So you can actually create a public link. And I actually posted on this uh, when it was very much still in its early stages of development. So public link sharing is also available. 
And then just one or two other mentions for the purpose of today's video. You can also upload images with a Google Lens. You can get Google search images in responses and modify Bard's responses to be simpler, longer, shorter, more professional, and more casual in all of those 40 now supported languages. So lots are rolling out now to Google Bard. And as mentioned, this is a very significant update. And the last update we received was about two months or so ago. So obviously now um, Google making up for lost time and the big one here, um, that extension support now available in Google Bard. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.